Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, and I just wanted to talk about something real fast, an idea about uh, uh, quantum mechanics and math and all that, and uh, I don't know if this, is bit, if this has been discovered yet or not, but I just kind of came up with uh, an idea of how and why, uh, a little brief description of how and why um, particles are detectable and non-detectable, or not so easily be detectable, and others are, and I believe that... Um, like electrons, electrons are kind of a little bit difficult to detect, and I think that uh, um, the more easier an uh, particle is to detect, um, that usually means that um, their neighboring, their anti-particle or their twin other, and the uh, and um, the other side, you know, um, their holographic twin or something, or whatever. Um, which string theory talks about um, is closest to them. They're transferring um, their matter is being their the information is being transferred between each other. Like for every particle, there's always an antiparticle. Or for every particle, there's always a twin particle. Is what basically what I'm talking about. Like for every matter that's being broken, like a rock that shatters into pieces, those little small broken pieces, those small microscopic chard uh, shards are still communicating with each other even miles and miles away they still transfer information but the information transfers slowly as the as the gap between them gets larger and the more closer the part of the pieces of the rock get the more faster and the more um of energy the waves give off to be de detected you know um so for every particle there is a twin particle and that's real one reason why uh, most particles are detectable because their their other twin particle, the other part of them, is closest, which makes their energy more easily detectable because the part two particles are closer, so it's easily detectable. More further away, they're more harder. So that's like uh for like uh for uns on on for really hard detectable particles, that's part one reason why. You know, very rare particles are hard to find because they're part they're anti their twin particle is furthest away, you know, due to the Big Bang, because of that, and because of other reasons. So, the easily detectable ones are easily found because their twin other particles closest, transferring information from both each other back and forth, you know. And so, you go between them or you just kind of walk around it and you can detect it. And so, that's my idea for particles and all that. Thank you very much. Just a brief idea.